the Senate is broken. In many ways, the Senate was designed with the idea that Americans' first loyalty wouldn't be to the national identity, but to their home state. That our country was so big and so diverse that each state with its own unique characteristics and people should get an equal say in the deliberative body that was the U.S. Senate. The House is based on population, but the Senate was there to represent the state's rights. However, we've gotten so far away from that in modern day polarized America that people's first priority now seems to be to their political party, not the state or the country. The filibuster allows allows that polarization to thrive by basically shutting down the Senate by making the majority party have to get 10 votes from the minority party, which in modern day politics is impossible. Eliminating the filibuster would reboot the Senate, like unplug it and plug it back in. It would make politicians accountable to their constituents again. Currently, politicians can hide behind the filibuster to pass blame when things that were promised aren't accomplished. The House uses it as a way to shut down more progressive or more extreme points of view. Look, there's no point in talking about this law because it'll never get 60 votes in the Senate. That's not how Congress was created to function. The Senate, like the House, was supposed to pass legislation with a simple majority. The House would debate and pass a bill. They would send it to the Senate. The Senate would debate and pass the bill, and they would send it to the President. The President would sign or veto the bill. All three branches have the opportunity to stop the legislation if the majority disagrees, and the judiciary is there to act as a check on the laws themselves. That's how it's supposed to work. But the filibuster, which was established almost 200 years after the Senate was created, as a reaction to increasing black power and civil rights expansions in the country has thrown all of that out of whack. By raising the threshold to 60 votes, it's allowed a minority of primarily white, primarily reactionary conservatives to block everything the increasingly diverse majority of the country wants to do. And something that gives undue power to a minority that is already overrepresented in the Senate based on population. The minority gets to say, oh, you need 10 of our votes to pass this, but we're not going to give them to you. So your bill's dead. Oh, the majority of the country wants gun control? Well, we don't. So your bill's dead. Oh, the majority of the country wants to raise the minimum wage? Well, we don't, so your bill's dead. They don't even have to tell us who is for or against it. If the majority can't convince 10 people in the minority, nothing will happen. And then we blame the majority for not getting things done. That's ridiculous. The filibuster is clearly a roadblock to progress, which is kind of exactly what it was created to be.